Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to your general uh, love reading. Uh, this is going to be for the zodiac sign of Libra. Is it a good idea to reach out for September 2021? Uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So uh, these are the Libra individuals that are currently dealing with someone that they are in no contact with. Um, so this is love intended, but you could apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, this could be with, you know, anyone that you're dealing with, a friend, a family member, etc. Um, so we are going to take a look to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out. And then we'll finish off the read to see, um, what would happen if you did reach out to this person. Um, so you can feel free to switch the roles if you want. Maybe it's, um, you know... The other person trying to reach out to you okay so uh, this applies to your own unique situation before we get started if you guys haven't done so yet uh hit the su subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on new videos that post onto my channel uh give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. For those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, let's get started. Um, Alright, is it a good idea for Libra to reach out to this person that they are currently in no contact with for September 2021? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Is it a good idea for Libra to reach out to this person that they are currently in no contact with? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2021. Alright, we have this two of wands here that flew out. I don't know. I, I feel like if you do reach out, you're going to be met with a lot of conflict uh, um, by this individual. There might be a lot of mind games here, a lot of gaslighting, a lot of blame shifting here. I feel like you already know that too, Libra. So let, let's see what else we have here. Two of Wands, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with the fire sign or you could have fire in your chart here. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy, strong Sagittarius energy. Maybe you're dealing with the Sag, the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So we have someone here. I feel like whoever this individual that you've been dealing with here has kept a lot of secrets from you. A lot. I feel like this person doesn't really express themselves openly. I feel like this person doesn't have a lot of self-confidence. I feel like this person might be in their ego a lot and someone that doesn't really listen to their intuition or their guides or their or their angels or um, uh, uh, something along those lines. But we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Eight of Swords. I mean, we have someone here that is completely in love with you, or you could be completely in love with this person. Like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. I think, I, I feel like you're going to be met with a lot of conflict if you do reach out. Clearly, this person cares about you a lot. This person loves you, but I feel like this person is not going to say it. All right. Let's see what else we have here for you, uh, Libra. All right, tell me about this two of wands here. Why is this two of wands here? Why is this two of wands here?
two of wands. Two of wands and a ten of wands here. I mean, we have someone that could be stuck in this. I mean, perhaps stuck in this prison. They create this prison for themselves where they're holding on to a lot of their traumas here, their pain, their burdens. Why is this King of uh, Wands here? King of Wands and the Two of Cups. I mean, I just feel like this person really, 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 really loves you. Why is Temperance here? Temperance and the Two of Pentacles. So we have someone here that's not really listening to their intuition and their guides and their angels. Because I feel like with you and your person, I feel like there is a potential here for this to happen. But I feel like someone here is caught in their ego. Why is the moon here? The moon and the emperor. So we have someone here that's not really speaking a lot about their feelings here. Someone keeps holding their feelings back. I mean, you might have lost patience for this individual here because of that, uh, Libra. Could be dealing with an Aries. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups and the world. I do feel like this person has never been able to let you go. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. Yeah, this person thinks about you a lot. Um, you're their wish fulfillment. I mean, oh. Interesting. Well, I usually flip this deck, but we have a Queen of Wands here and the Ace of Wands. So, um, Libra, you might have fire in your chart. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Oh, Eight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, pre Empress energy. So, you might have Virgo in your chart. I um, mean, this person can't stop thinking about you. I, the thing is, I feel like this person loves you, but I feel like they can't emotionally invest into a commitment right now. Perhaps that was the issue that you guys were having. And also, this guy, this guy, this guy or girl has a lot of baggage with the Ten of Wands here. I, I also saw the Six of Swords. So I feel like this individual has trouble moving on from things or hasn't been able to move on from things. Or perhaps this person has some childhood abandonment issues. I mean, we have the Page of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here. Okay, what will happen when uh, if Leah reached out to this person that they are in no contact with? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2021. What will happen if Libra reached out to this person that they are in no contact with? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2021. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse here. So we saw that Queen of Wands in the upright before. But that was on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So we have a true pair. We have a soulmate connection here. All right, let's see what's going on. So Libra, like you said, you can flip the rules if you want. Either you're this King of Wands here or this Queen of Wands. Okay, Five of Wands, you see it. So we saw that, we saw this here on the bottom of the deck. So if it's not a good idea, I mean, if you want to deal with the fighting, the arguing, the mind games here, I mean, I mean, you do have free will at the end of the day, but I feel like if you do reach out, we have someone here that is incredibly pissed off at someone. Pissed off at this King of Wands or this Emperor, and I feel like this Queen of Wands is ready to fight. Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. So Libra, there you are right here with the King of Swords. But like I said, you, yeah, you can flip the rolls if you want. You can flip the rolls if you want. We have Temperance so showing up again in the Hierophant. 
so we have someone coming back that is offering, um, that is wanting marriage here. I mean, this person could have gone on some sort of healing journey while you were apart from this person. Maybe this person is learning to trust their intuition, learning to trust their guides, their angels. Um, I mean, we have a queen here where someone can't stop thinking about this queen. So I feel like this queen is wondering if they should invest into this connection. We have the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles here. I mean, we have a queen that's incredibly pissed off, I feel. Alright, why is this Queen of Wands in the reverse here? Why is this Queen of Wands in the reverse? Yeah, we have someone that does not want to work on this anymore. The eight, of, uh, the eight of Pentacles in the reverse here. We have it in the upright. We have someone here who wants to work on this, and then we have someone that doesn't. Why is it Five of Wands here? Five of Wands and the Temperance card showing up again. I'm feeling like this Queen of Wands wants nothing to do with this King or slash Emperor. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So we have, I mean, maybe we had someone here that was exploring other options. And I feel like this person does not want to explore other options. This person just wants you. Why is this King of Cups, King of Swords here? King of Swords and the King of Wands in the reverse. I mean, this is a king that could be in this energy where they were messing around a lot and playing around a lot. And I feel like we have someone here with the, with the king of swords in the upright and the king of wands. Uh, uh, with the king of swords, I, I feel like we have someone here that's trying to get serious. Uh, why is this temperance here? Temperance in the nine of pentacles. Why is this hierophant here? Hierophant and the Nine of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I mean, Libra, we have someone here that's trying to get serious, but we have another person here that is not, they don't want to do this anymore. They don't want to do this anymore. It seems like someone here is working on themselves, you know, working on their spiritual growth and their personal growth here. Someone here might be in therapy, but they're really having a hard time here. They're really having a hard time. So Libra, I hope this resonated. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Ring the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.